good stuff. I presume Pavel will pick Rust well, because that's what he won against base last time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't understand what uh, base is saying exactly, but DM13 is out of it. It's like, just go and Vote pick now. DM13. We know what's nope. going to happen. There Wait, you go, what? Sinister first. Vote pass. What? Is Pavel picking Sinister? Apparently. DM13 is going to be the second one, I, I guess. Prepare to fight. They're starting. I, I we don't know the order of the maps because they just simply didn't say. But guys, uh, the I suppose DM Thursday is the second one. That's the, the only thing I can The Sunday Cup grand final between Base and Pavel has commenced. Yep, Who, and I, I'm on Base's on? point of view here. He got the railgun, so you know what to expect. Just waiting for those angles. Not quite spotting Pavel anywhere. What an angle, shit. There we go. Finds the rail, finds the second one. Second rail. Almost 200 damage he dealt. And now going in with LG. Very risky push there, but he's gonna be able to escape. Oh, Pavel boy. was so stacked before that, I was surprised that he didn't go down at the at the red. Unless they've done from Pavel to hold on to all of that, because he was under a lot of pressure, and it, it almost went back into base's face, like he very nearly died. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> Jesus Christ, base! That was the most beautiful uh, double air I could have seen in uh, quite a while. That was, that was, that's just unusual though. It's quite a tricky angle on top of that, like the bit of dis the distance he had between it, he read it nicely there. Just beautiful. That was some serious frag movie material. Certainly. Do we have base frag movies? We I need some. There, there should be. We need some. With Oscars. Pavel's seeing the, uh, the roof of the map there quite closely. So many people track up that far. Well, base is helpful with that. Pavel's in a bit of uh, trouble at the moment. He gets himself a 50 armor. Is he gonna dare go down? He is! And he's that LG from base! I can't believe Easy. it. That's just ridiculous. How can someone hit that much? Can he get up to 50% again? Well, Pavel just kind of runs straight into him and base is just like, I'll go back, I'll go back, no rockets to hit me, and if Pavel's jumping at him, then no problemo. The rail from Pavel, but it seems like a very small amount of damage. Yeah, 900 damage done for base, 300 for Pavel. There That's we go. one more. It's an absolute spanking from base at the moment. Yeah, very fast start for him. And uh, I don't know what Pavel can do. Well, he did steal one of those reds. So... Oh my god, base is LG. Completely pushes Pavel, blocks his exit there. Pavel actually does. <laughs> what? That rail. He was just perfectly tracking Pavel while dropping. Knew when it hit. Impressive. Flicks again, which is crazy. And he gets himself another one. He's just. You know, there's not much difference between his crosshair and where his enemy is. But he still does this little kind of aggressive movement to his mouse. Yeah, I actually like that. You also see it a lot with the uh, CPM players. They really like to do those flick shots. He's, just, he's, he's so consistent at it. Like it's it's been almost a perfect tournament for base, but he's gonna go down now. There, just as I think one of them. I, I think I cursed him. I, yeah. I did it. I I'm giving Pavel yeah. a chance here. <laughs> Pavel's gonna try to set up now for Red Armor. Oh, he's got a good chance to do that. Base is down in the lower section of the map. Oh, good rails there by base. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I he feel like a broken record. Like, he was kind of weaving in and out between uh, in between Pavel's rockets there. He was like, avoiding damage rail, avoiding damage rail. It's weird though, because he weaves in, but really far in, like much further than you'd expect someone to go for a peek, and then yeah. goes back out again. It's just a bit, how the hell do you deal with that? You, yeah. you, to predict it is quite hard. <laughs> Oh. That was a sick rail from Pavel. Yeah, this time Pavel won their shots. Doing very good. 
Oh, why he let? He just went out the room without picking up the mega, and Space is gonna score himself an easy frag. We've got the red armor up. Pavel might get a kill if he sticks around with the machine gun. Oh, six health left on base. I don't know if Pavel <laughs> realizes that. No, he had no bullets left. He had nothing. Oh, <laughs> that explains everything. I, th I think he would have loved enough. it. That fifty just spawned there. Pavel knows that. Ooh. Pavel knows that base wants this. Even if base takes the fifty, he's still available. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's worth the risk, apparently. That's very <laughs> weird that he was so you know, adamant on picking it up. Oh my <gasps> god, the oh. rockets! Wow. How is that even possible? <laughs> oh no, thank you, Pavel. Thank you for shutting him up. Minute one. Yeah. Base showing off a little with the rockets. <laughs> Oh, he's having a seriously impressive tournament. He's 1100 damage oh. above Pavel! Oh! Surprise! <laughs> if, he, if he went for the air rocket afterwards and hit it, I, mean, I would have... As you'd say, I think I'd have lost my shit completely. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was what's gonna happen. Yeah, it looked like it could have happened. But I, I liked also that base actually decided, you know what, let's keep it secure. <laughs> and we're having a good day, but let's just ensure that the frags actually are made. That would have been some PG-18 stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the damage. Pavel's got less than half the amount of damage in base. I, I've said, I've you know explained quite a few times how much the difference is, but it's it's a huge amount. And that's it. Yeah, that's the right thing to do at that point. Forfeit. Base has now got an advantage. One map is needed for base, and he will be the winner of the tournament. Pavel's got four He's maps so to close. win in a row. So, oh. if I understood correctly, the next map we are getting is Lost World. I would, I think I would so, imagine yeah. so, yeah. And then uh, um, Dismemberment is... Is Dismemberment there? Yeah, yeah Dismemberment. Dismemberment is the last one. Cool has decided that he wants to play now. And he's going to have a run around before he lets Pavel back on the server. There oh, go. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Had to Pavel show cooler. the tiny bit of cooler, though. Yeah, Pavel the cooler, great friend. He's uh, cool explained on uh, the stream. I think he's... He knows the Pavel won't mind that. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's it's a two times best of three, guys. So, uh, as I, I did say that Pavel's got to win four in a row. It's not true. He's got to win two in a row now, and then just two in the next best of three. So... The, the next map was not last any map now, then. Yeah, look at this. It's, it's actually just Memberment, and we know last time base uh, beat Pavel here. Yep. Okay, so why did Pavel pick... I mean, he has to be Sinister. win this anyway if he wants to take the series, so does it really matter? Maybe Pavel just got a bit cocky and he was like, you know what, this time I'll beat you on your map pick. I don't know. Oh. This is this is weird. It is weird. Very strange. Right, guys, if you are enjoying the tournament, enjoying the stream and our casting, please hit that follow button on Twitch. Uh, we are doing all of the Season 23, 125 FPS League. We'll be doing the Dismemberment Cup, and we're going to be doing uh, it's a couple of other things. There's going to be some announcements on FPS Pulse very soon, now that we've got the hosting fixed up. FPSPulse.com. Uh, it's so much faster than before. We've got loads, we've got like six writers or so writing some cool stuff and keeping up with the Arena FPS news. Go check it out. Absolutely must do if you're an Arena FPS fan, even a Quake fan as well. Uh, Shipturion, two times best of three, it means that his base came from the winner bracket, he only has to win a single best of three. If Pavel wins that best of three, then he will have to go into another best of three because he came from the loser bracket. So that's basically the advantage you get from coming from uh, the top bracket instead of the bottom one. I think there's uh, some uh, problem in there. Hold on. Vote now. Vote yeah, past. everyone Just is re the Sarge. server. Yeah, the, no, no, we, we the player go, model. He's re-voting the map, is what you do. Rafa PM me and says to tell him to re-vote the map, so... Oh. But, uh, I've okay. got the wise words from Rafa. He's, he's voted it to a, a weird map. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. This is not quite the map we want to play. Bitter Embrace. I've played this map uh, yeah. FFA before. I've played this now. in uh, Clan Arena one of the days, and it was actually very fun. Yeah. The uh, weird little map. Alright, back on this moment. Uh, it's weird, usually when I have that Sarge back, it's just... I press tab and it's all fixed, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried it as well, I but... So too, yeah. 
I also tried reloading my config, but it didn't do anything. But yeah, we are getting here. I, I want to talk about the uh, about QuakeCon. I don't know if we've got enough time to talk about it right now, but I kind of I will have a little bit of a chat about QuakeCon after this uh, winner bracket's over. At least at least this part of the winner bracket, if in case we go to a second best of three, then we can chat between them. Yep. But, um, this base isn't here actually, I might talk about it now. Yeah, I'm watching Cooler. He's timed, he's timed out at the moment. So we've got Rafa, who was teamed up with 04, Clock, and Brick. And then we've got Dahang, who's teamed up with KGB, Viju, and ID. Uh, now, for CTF, both of those teams look crazy, crazy yeah. good. Huh, um, yeah. I think, though. The Hang CTF team, to me, looks like the, the star players. I don't know what you guys think. Because on paper, Rafa's team is awesome. But when you think about solely CTF, only CTF, then the Hang's team, I think, is going to be the better. I, I expect yeah. the Rafa's team to do better in the, the TDM and probably the duel as well. But um, the Hang Rafa duels, they're, they're going to be exciting as hell, especially after QuakeCon. Yeah, it's a good thing uh, to see them not play on the same team, just so we can see them both deal. They, they, yeah, that's exactly why they did it. And it's a shame for people, because I know some wanted to see 0-4, but I think like 0 4 kind of accepted that, you know what, I, I'm not the player I once was on uh, duel. Mm -hmm. He's going to let uh, his um, well, once part of one uh, take his place and Guys, get the Guys, the game's starting. Let's do it. Match go, go, go. points for base, and if he wins this, he's gonna win the whole thing. And I'm on Powell's point of view. He's gonna get the red armor very fast. He's trying to find some weapons as well. Kinda expected a trap at the LG, which would have been base interesting. Base just went AFK at the yellow for like five seconds. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's just unusual. Mind games. Powell's gonna score himself position on the red, which spawns in about five seconds. Base looking for a little bit of damage. If you show your face, Powell, you might get railed. Well, actually, unusual from base. I'm missing that shot. But Powell's playing with his mind a bit. He hasn't actually taken the red yet. He also hasn't taken a rail gun either. Oh, Pavel, he walks through, he gets curious. Base, that last rocket doesn't quite hit. He's not going to be able to get a rail just yet. Base is scouting for an angle. Have they? I don't know if they've heard each other. I think Base may have heard Pavel. But Where is Base? The other way around. Pavel is waiting on the staircase at the red. They're right. They're right against each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, this didn't have. This wasn't as bad as the previous one, uh, where Base he yeah. still died and then <laughs> Pavel dropped <laughs> down. Like, this time Pavel actually finished off the job. Yeah, this time Pavel was awake. Oh my god, that was close. Pavel is yeah. railable right now. Is he going to risk it? He goes through, but oh, base it's, takes him out. It's a tight game again. Oh, red armor. Pavel has no weapons. Nice oh, rocket jump from base. The machine gun damage wasn't bad. But... Yeah, it wasn't clean for base, but a frag is a frag. Oh, oh Pavel can't. He just can't land that one rocket. He's just a little bit off, yeah. and it messes up his... Uh... Let's cross our positioning for the next shot. Base patiently waiting for that 50 health bubble and uh, <clears throat> a little bit early here for this mega. Yeah, Pavel got the red armor, so. Oh, oh doesn't that's matter. That's from base. That was just sick, sick shooting. Thing. Yeah, crazy. He keeps hiding behind the arch as well, so he's only visible like a bit of the time. Making life so difficult for Pavel. Reds up in a moment, but going through a teleporter, base just forfeited a uh, position. But look at that. Oh my god, the damage. Oh, he can't quite get the rail though. Pavel, well, they've both got exactly the same total resources 20 health each. A bit dangerous for a base. But uh, yeah, he's just gonna get the intel from the sound. But uh, he hasn't been able to scavenge any of the resources, unlike Pavel has. Oh, good rocket there. Just so patient from base, and he shells a ton of damage. Oh, wow. He's got to get out to red. Pavel, so can you get, get out? out? He goes up the bounce pad, then he's going to get hit. My rocket goes down the archway, he'll probably get hit by one too. He sneaks out. And there comes the rocket damage. Oh, good rockets. Yeah. But Pavel's still alive. Barely. Barely. 
surprised at a base from looking at the 50 bubble. Actually, I was holding it together at the moment. 68 health oh. and the direct rocket. Oh. He did it, and he gets the mega health. Now it's looking very good for him. And he's gonna get red on top of that. All of a sudden, Pavel, yeah, he's, he's turned things around. That's a Should massive a series of Pavel. Our base is trapped. It's gonna be a tight game soon. There Here we, we are. go. I didn't know if I was expecting that from Pavel so soon, actually. He kind of got into the game quickly. Maybe base feeling a bit too comfortable. Pavel's been really, really solid on the items. Passing out these rails, though. His aim definitely hasn't been as impressive as base today. What a rack from Pavel. But a base returns. Pavel again wow. left quite low, forced to escape. Base gonna find him, but no, that wasn't enough to act with the LG. Yeah, I think base maybe thought uh, Pavel was lower than he, than he actually was. Oh, oh. Nice work from Pavel again, and all of a sudden Pavel at 2 frag E here. It's, like on, it's on a razor's edge at the moment, but Pavel's just about judging the stacks uh, as perfectly as he possibly can. And uh, playing it right. No, that red's got taken, mate. He's finally come to accept that. And now he knows that he's going up into a slightly stacked base. Two health. Lower the threshold. Yep, he's going to get himself a 25, and now he doesn't mind showing his head quite as much. That mega's up, but base, he's just taken a yellow. Impressive. There we go. It was, it was worth the wait in the end. Yeah. Ha, huh, apparently I'm uh, walking a lot of frames. Don't know what's going on. Hopefully we can keep I blame Twitch. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. Let's hope it slows down a bit and then we can get uh, get the game going. This guy's playing quite slowly at the moment. Both players similarly stacked, but that red can kind of make the difference though. LG as well. Base returning fire. Three rails in a row. Four in a row. Five in a row. Oh my god. What? <laughs> this guy. Base. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just absolutely crazy. Two health left for base. <laughs> Still alive, and his other red armor. The red armor is not gonna help him, but he's gonna be able to escape. Are you kidding me? With two health. Pavel, how do you let him escape? Are you gonna let him go for the frame? Yeah, no. Yeah. Base staying alive for much longer than he should have. Oh, that's a horrible place for, for base to be as well. He's gonna go down once more. This dismemberment is going much better for Pavel now than it was uh, previously. Yeah. Thanks for finishing that. <laughs> I was going to get myself the yellow without too many issues. I'm going to watch base a bit now myself, just to see if he can make it back. He's starting to get to the late stages of the game. He has to start thinking how he's going to get control of the bigger items. Red Arm's going to be up soon. Pavel, already on the top. Just going to drive down and check it out. Pavel landing two back-to-back -back rails, and uh, yeah, this is the kind of place that usually wins in the games or fights. The rail. What? Oh, that wasn't five in a row, but he missed one. But yeah. that does basically deja vu there for for the rails. There is almost exactly the same positions as well. Oh no, this is dangerous. Base, can you escape? Eleven health, health left. And I think Bay Pavel is also quite low. But yeah, Bay doesn't care about no 25s. He's too confident for that. I'm kind of typing my butt cheeks though, the way he's playing it really on the edge of the oh. moment. <laughs> Goes for the sick ball. rails. But not quite landing the frags. Oh, he finds it in <laughs> nice. the end though. Why are you showing yourself, Pavel? You know that, that that long corridor is a death trap the best of times. I'll try to be careful, but Pace oh is gonna God. find him. So much damage. Wow. It's like being in a kind of you know, horror movie of some sort, where you just can't get around any corner without being scared by something. <laughs> yeah. Pace is just 
tearing him apart at the moment. He's got the control back. Pavel's on the red. Can you see him? He's feeling him out with the rockets. And it's going to be Pavel killing himself now. Base is two minutes away from being the champion today. Algie's decent. Wow, what nice. a read. What yeah. a read from, from base, sorry. Oh my god, and that rail up the spawn again. Red armor is going to be up soon, but so is the mega. <laughs> base doing the wow. correct thing and lands a sick shot. Gets the frag, gets the item, and now the mega health is still up. God. That the amount of play. The amount of damage he does with the rail is, is sick. Yeah, it's He's... ridiculous. He's actually done more damage one with the rockets this warning. game. He's done 1,900 damage with rockets and 1,600 with the rail. Uh, both players have got around 600 damage done with LG. But it's, it's 1,600, sorry, 1,500 more damage for base in this game. We've got less than 45 seconds to go. Base is trying to play this on slow. I'm watching Pavel now to see if he can make it back. He's got to check. He just saw him. <laughs> oh, base just escapes. He doesn't care about it anything anymore. He knows he got this game in the bag, so just playing his passive, running away. As long as you don't get in a fight, you're fine. You, I mean, you got this down. Yeah, look at the stack he has. This is more than enough to just defend yourself with and keep running. Oh, Pavel finds him! Die frag at it. Just playing the pillar. Pavel... Oh, don't think... oh, doesn't get the frag. Base is gonna wow. get it, and that G -G. is gonna clear up the tournament. Base is the 125 FPS champion. <laughs> It's the Sunday Cup. <laughs> yeah, the single Sunday Cup. But still, amazing job by base. Really good stuff. And, gotta say, this wasn't the grand final of 